I should investigate. I'm only for that.
Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go. And try it on the pumpkins. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? I was wondering, what inspired your interest in magical beasts? Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Ockamy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Ockamy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Ockamy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. Seems quite a challenge, finding an Okami in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there... Inside was a nest with seven silver Okami eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even wand cores. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head, breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life, and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. 
I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you? I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. Remarkable shot! That's the way to do it! Impressive! It appears I've been bested. Well done! Diving, Summoner's Court, seems there's nothing you can't do. Mm, there wasn't much to it. You really are insufferable. You may have beaten me, but your next opponent is sure to take you down a peg, which will be a joy to see. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <sighs> oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The Hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station.
This must be Aranshir. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. things in her cellar. That means there are more underground. <sighs> I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. the spiders. They're not here now. Ah, <sighs> well this isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. to know where this leads. Best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Exax, I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse.
think that they see me. I don't see them. Rebellion. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breathing the spiders.
No, wait. That's the last one. And she's angry. Crucio! Rebellion. He's none too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the rumours of your involvement. Uh, Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary. What untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help. 
and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. <laughs>